In Shopify, there are several ways to set up discounts, but they don't all behave the same, and not all of them are going to give you these site-wide discounts where it shows you the savings, the strike-through price, all that good stuff on the collection and product page. Some are only going to show it to you once you add the item to cart, like so. Let's see. We'll try on this one. Here we go. Add to cart. And then here we can see the items. Now they say 20% off, and they show the strike through in my savings. But on the product and collection page, they don't. And then on this site, they do. So what's the difference? Well, okay. Um, both of these are client sites, and as our working example, we'll use uh, my wife's site. And this is the Shopify admin. So if you go in settings discounts, this is what most people do. They'll do amount off order or amount off products. And we'll just... For the sake of it, we'll do amount off products. And then they do automatic discount. And you'd say like Black Friday, yeah, 20% off. And remember, don't put something weird in there because customers see that. That's what pops up in the cart, this 20% off. And okay. So then you'd say, you know, percentage, 20% off. And maybe you want to apply it to specific products or specific collections. I generally do specific collections. Makes my life easier. And the way I like to do that is you go collection, I like literally make one. You called, I'm going to call this one Black Friday sale. Um, up to, let's say Black Friday sale, 20% off. Put it in my online store only. And if I want it to be the entire store, I'm going to go price is greater than zero. Boom. And then it'll give me all of those. But by doing the collections, then we could sort through this pretty easily um, and apply our discount selectively. And so I'll say, make it easy to make sure I get it. Copy that ID out of the URL. You don't have to do that. Yeah, that's just my pro move. Then we add that. And we've set a minimum purchase amount or quantity of items. So we'll say one. And in this case, I'm fine if they combine that with product discounts. And then you would set an end date. So I'd say start date you know, can be this evening, and our end date is going to be the 28th. Save. And now that's going to work. But it'll only apply the discount in the cart and the checkout. We want to show it sooner. So if you want to show it sooner, here's the other way you do it. So here I'm going to deactivate this discount. Um, deactivate, deactivate. I may as well delete this discount. And then we're going to go in our products. And I can either select all and hit export. If I want to do this for everything, I can do it for just active. Or since we already created that collection, I love filtering by collection in Shopify for stuff like this. Add filter, collection. And I'll paste that ID in there. There it is. Black Friday sale, 20% off. And of course, all our products appear in here. So now that I got that, uh, I'm going to click export. Everything matching my search. Go. And it's going to be emailed to me. So let's fast forward. There it is. Popped up right away. I'll download that from the store. And then I'm going to open my spreadsheet, and in it, in the spreadsheet, we're going to scroll all the way on down to variant price. And for it to show the strike through, you have to have the compare at price set, which in this case, some, okay, one of the products has it, but the rest don't. So if you have no compare at prices set, make your life easy, you could just copy the variant price column, and paste it into the compare at price column. But if, like me, you've got some products that have an item set already, and so that means the item's already on sale, we got to filter those out. So we're going to go quick filter, and we're just going to say only show me the blank ones. There we go. So by limiting it that way, now I'm not going to overwrite the one that's set. And so I got that far, and now let's see, where's my filtering options? 
quick filter. Select all. So there we go. We can see that worked. It saved it. So now I have compare at prices set. And the reason I want that is because otherwise, if I don't have that set, you don't get the strike through. Strike through is the cool part, right? Now that we've got this, how are we going to set this price? Uh, if you have Shopify Launchpad installed, you're a Shopify Plus user, you can use that. But for the rest of us normal folks, we're going to have to do it this way. I'm going to call this my, call that temporary. And we're going to do a formula to make this work. And so we're going to say um, equals variant price. And then we're going to do some math. We're going to say times 0.8. So I want to discount at 20%. So really, I want my price to be 80% of retail. So that'll discount at 20%. And there we go. Shows me 320 instead of $4. And then we'll just check my math here. Yep, that should work. Okay. So now I've got this. I need to paste this all the way down. But now it's, it's like setting these $0 values. I don't want that. So what we're going to do is again, filter, quick filter, our price column. And I don't want to show blank. And so now this will work. So now that I got that, I'm just going to drag this guy all the way on down. There we go. Now it's, it's done it, it worked. And so I'm gonna copy this column, copy. And when I paste it, it's gonna break, watch what happens. Oh, it's smarter than me, it worked. All right, so depending on what spreadsheet system you're using, it may not, it may post the formula and screw it up. So there should be an option for either copy values or yeah, and numbers, it's shift command V paste formula results. So I hit that, that worked. And now my temp column, I'm gonna delete that. And now I've got it set. I got my variant price, got my variant compare at price, and I wanna hide. I got my quick filter going. Let's just go back, double check it. Things look good. So now I'm gonna do file. Sorry, you can't see that. File export CSV. And we'll save our CSV. Call this, uh, yeah, uh, desktop, DYD, price, update, you name it, whatever. But And make sure if you want to undo all this, in case you mess this up, because you could, always just keep an untouched copy of this spreadsheet. And so that's why I exported and saved it as something else. So now I got that. I'm going to close this spreadsheet. Go back into our Shopify store. We're going to hit import. And then we will grab our price update. Drop it on there. And we're going to say overwrite products with matching handles. I'm not going to publish new products, but there shouldn't be any. And preview. And Shopify's going to check it for me. Be like, hey, we think you messed this up or not. In this case, it tells me I've not messed anything up. You'll be importing 48 products, 178 SKUs, 101 images. We'll overwrite it. And in theory, if you wanted to be safer about this, you could delete the columns you're not updating. You know, like leave handle title and then start taking out other stuff. But since I didn't mess with it, you know, and I have a backup, I'm not worried about it. And so then I could click import products. It'll take, take a while, you know, from minutes to an hour if you've got thousands of products. And then Shopify will send you a recap email when it's done and tell you what the results were. And in theory, it should have worked just fine. And so then you'll be good to go. You'll have your products marked down and you'll have it set up, you know, like this example where we've got sale price, strike through price, and then this stuff like the save, whatever the savings, that's part of the theme. Any modern theme should have these um, sale badges as an option available to you in the theme settings. If you just look in the theme editor, but there you go. That's how to quickly update uh, sale pricing on your entire catalog in Shopify in less than 10 minutes. Mm -hmm.